the third type of error that we are now going to discuss is the question tag error. We should know the difference between a question and a question tag. Now, when do we use a question? It's common experience that we use a question when you require an answer. A question calls for an answer. If you don't know somebody's name, you can ask a question. What's your name? But if there is a person whose name is Ravi, you are not sure that his name is Ravi. So you should not ask a question, what's your name? But you should say something like, you are Ravi, aren't you? That aren't you is the question tag. A question requires an answer. A question tag requires a confirmation or a denial. When you come across a question like, you are Ravi, aren't you? You are expected to say, yeah or no. Now, a question tag by definition is a shortened negative question that uses a pronoun. One of the qualities of uh, a question tag that it always has a pronoun and not a noun. Shortened negative question. That's a question tag. Now, what do you mean by negative? Negative means not. N-O-T, not. Now, if you remove that O, Whenever you remove something, you use an apostrophe. So, N-O-T becomes N apostrophe T. That is a shortened negative question. Now, a question tag should always use a pronoun and not a noun. What's the difference between a noun and a pronoun? A pronoun is used in place of a noun. Now, it is raining. Look at the first sentence there. It is raining. That is the sentence. Whenever you have to find a question tag, you should be able to locate the verb first. Here the verb is is. So use n apostrophe t. That is a shortened negative question. Here already pronoun is used. It. Therefore, it is raining, isn't it? Is the correct question tag. Now the second example, you are free. R is the verb, therefore you write A-R-E-N-T. While writing, you write it as aren't. While pronouncing, you say aren't you. You are free aren't you. Gopi broke the glass. Here the verb is broke. And it is in past tense. When the verb is in past tense, you use did. When it is in present tense, you use do. When it is a present tense with yes, you use does. Now, Gopi broke the glass, didn't he? Now, Gopi is a noun. In a question tag, you should not use a noun. He is the pronoun which is used in place of the noun Gopi. Your sister cooks well. The verb is cooks, which is present tense with yes. Therefore, you must use does here. NT is common for all question tags. Your sister cooks well, doesn't she? You should not use the noun sister, but you must use the pronoun she. If it is brother, you will use doesn't he. Your brother, next sentence, your brother will return tonight. Will return. If it is will, it is willn't. And willn't is only won't. Your brother will return tonight. Won't he? Brother is the noun. He is the pronoun. The girls have completed the homework. Now, have becomes haven't. And girls is a noun you should not use. You should use the pronoun they. The girls have completed the homework. Haven't they? So, you will use the verb followed by nt and the proper tense of the verb which is given in the sentence and you should also use a suitable pronoun. Now, normally, if the given sentence is positive, the tag is negative. You are a member, aren't you? 
U R is positive, therefore the tag is negative. Hockey is our national game, isn't it? Sentence positive, tag negative. What will happen if the sentence itself is negative? Now look here, the first example, it is not raining. If the sentence is positive, the tag is negative. Here the sentence itself is negative. Therefore, the tag should be positive. It is raining. If the sentence is positive, the tag is, isn't it? It is not raining. Therefore, is it? Gopi did not break the glass. Did he? Gopi broke the glass. Didn't he? Gopi did not break the class, glass. Did he? Your brother will not return tonight. Will he? Now, if the sentence is negative, the tag should be positive. This is what we saw. But in all these sentences, we identified Gopi did not break the glass. How do you know it is a negative sentence? You will say obviously, sir, the word not is there. So it is negative. Normally, you identify a negative sentence by the presence of the word not. But remember, Sometimes a sentence can be negative even though the word not is not there. Look at this example. He hardly arrives in time. The sentence is positive or negative. The word hardly means he doesn't arrive in time. These words show that the sentence is negative. Don't be carried away by the absence of the word not. This sentence is negative, therefore the tag should be positive. The verb is in present tense with yes, therefore you should use the word does. You should say, does he? He hardly arrives in time, does he? But if the sentence is, he arrives in time, doesn't he? He hardly arrives in time, does he? If the sentence is negative, the tag is positive. Now, as I told you earlier, English is a very mischievous language. It is not a law-abiding language. There are so many rules and there are so many exceptions. There are many cases where English does not follow rules. Now, this uh, section contains some peculiar questions. We learned so many rules about forming the question tags. These are some mischievous sentences that have a different question tag. Have some more coffee, will you? Normally we expect, haven't you or something like that. There are some girls in your class, aren't there? Somebody has called, haven't they? There is a mask in the street, isn't there? Wait a minute, can you? Let's go to the beach, shall we? I am right, aren't I? So, these are some of the peculiar question tags. Now, so far, we have learnt about three types of errors. That is, error number 3, 4 and 5. Namely, errors in the use of articles. Then, errors in inversion, in the use of inversion. And then, errors in <coughs> question tags. Now, it is essential that in addition to studying these uh, sentences, you have to work out many examples. Now, you have to go through the questions given in the test and then we will review the uh, way you have answered these questions on um, articles errors, inversion errors and question tag errors. Thank you.